guys, I'm so excited. Today is launch day, so we need, we need to glow. I need to glow this up right now. Hello everyone, I'm here today on a Tuesday. And for those of you that are OG, you would know that I used to do videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and then I switched it. Not that that matters at all for what I'm about to say. But today is June 11th and it is the official launch of the Rich Loves Layers Highlighting Palette on the Pixie website. I will put all the details down below for you guys. It will also be available a little bit later in June at Target, so in stores and online, and then Shoppers Drug Mart in like mid-July or so. But I thought it'd be fun today to like celebrate the launch to do like a really easy, like everyday glowy kind of a makeup look and share with you guys all of my tips and tricks and ways in in which I get that nice like glowy skin. I have a couple of them started on my face right now. That's why it looks a little bit shiny. If you enjoyed this video and you find it helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos here every Thursday and Sunday. Okay, let's stop chatting. Let's put some product on my face. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, now that we are zoomed in a little bit, a little bit closer now, let's talk about some of the things that I did earlier today before sitting down here. Because the essence of that summery glowy skin is <laughs> skin. It's the just thing right here. So first of all, exfoliating the skin is something I like to do on a weekly basis, just getting rid of all of that dead skin. I always think of it the same way that you would have a paintbrush and a blank piece of paper. If you put some sand or you put some like just dust and dirt on a piece of paper and try to paint over it, it's not going to be as smooth and seamless. So you really want to make the canvas smooth. How many times can I say smooth? Another thing that I like to do is use one of these little defuzzing razor things. I got this one off of Amazon, but I think Revlon makes them now as well. This is going to get rid of any of the little fuzziness, the hairs, things like that that are on everyone's face. Everyone's face has them. And again, it just makes that foundation just go on a lot smoother. There are tons of tutorials online on how to use these things. You can talk to a dermatologist if you're not sure. Um, but yeah, it works really well for me. And then another thing I do is masking love me a good mask. So mask number one, I will usually use day of for like a special event. So if it's going to a wedding or an event or something like that, this is the Clarins Extra Firming Mask. And so I will just kind of smooth it on my skin for about 15 minutes or so and then rinse it away. And the other product is by Pixi. This is their Detoxify Depuffing Eye Patches. You guys have seen, I use them often when I'm testing out like a full face of makeup and I'll put them on first while I do my eye makeup. And these are fantastic, not only do they depuff the under eye area but I find it almost has this like slight firming effect too by the way can we all appreciate the fact that I put on a face mask that has to be rinsed off while having my brows and my eyes done like why did I do that why why I'm very proud of myself for not taking off one ounce of brow though I use an essence I use a facial oil I use some sort of like a strobing kind of a cream if I really want that glowy effect and then I'll concentrate that sort of on the C shape around the brows to the tops of the cheekbones that area now with a facial oil typically what I would do is make sure that I'm really like soaking in all of that goodness before I go into primer and foundation and all of that so I would put that on and then typically I would do like brows and eyes and everything and then go back into foundation so it has some time to like soak in like, like marinate in it so we've done that I'm feeling nice and hydrated my skin is feeling really good so now we can dive into the makeup products so first of all primer so you can go a bunch of different ways with the primer depending on how much glow you want to do you could also just leave it at like a max strobe cream or this is the Charlotte Tilbury brightening youth glow something like that as your primer or you could go in with like if you want to do like a glass like skin effect so like the covergirl gripping primer you could try but like honestly it's just finding something that works with your skin tone if you're trying to correct oiliness or pore minimizing or redness or whatever it is you want to put that on your face so for me i like to correct the pores the craters as i lovingly call them just like right here and on my forehead now the clarins um, mask did take care of a lot of that so they are much tighter now i still probably will apply a little bit of a primer that's going to pore minimize this one's by tarts the smoothing primer Another one that I really like is by YSL. It's the Instant Matte Pore Refiner. Again, it has matte in it, so I'm trying to avoid that today. And we're just going to press it into the skin. And I'm concentrating this only in the areas where I want to cover up any of those pores. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Cover Effects Gripping Primer on the rest of the face. It has like a glass-like skin effect and it's gonna help 
the makeup to adhere to your skin a lot better. Um, because we're going to be using a lot less powders today, I want something that's going to like stick to the foundation from underneath so we can use less on top. And this is a very, very <laughs> sticky primer and I'm trying to use just a little bit at a time and sort of avoid the areas where I applied the Tarte one. So now that we are thoroughly primed, very sticky skin. We can go on to foundation. Now what I like to do, I like to do more of like a medium or a light coverage foundation because I want to still see my skin through this because it's glowy. It's just supposed to be very summery, very light. If you have a full coverage foundation, mix in a little bit of like a facial oil or a, a moisturizer or something and that's gonna dilute it as well. So have some options. I'm gonna take my found sealer today, the Tarte one, um, and I'm gonna be using a sponge today. Now, normally I love using like a big fluffy brush. It gives a beautiful airbrush effect to the skin, um, but because I use the cover effects, the gripping primer, I find that the only way I can make this work well is if I use a sponge to like dab it on. So I'm tapping my damp sponge into the product. I just want a little bit of dampness to the sponge. Like I don't want it sopping. Like I don't even want to be able to like really squeeze any water out at all. <laughs> Gotta protect those earrings there. <laughs> get them out of the way. We're gonna get the forehead around the brows as I decided to get those done in advance. You can even go underneath the eyes with this product, which I really appreciate because I want something that's going to be a lot less coverage under my eyes. And this is something I learned the hard way, but you have to make sure, at least in my experience, that you match the level of coverage from your foundation to the level of coverage with your concealer. Otherwise, at least for my skin, it just ends up looking really imbalanced and then my skin looks like skin if I use like a medium coverage and then I cake on the concealer and it's just weird by the end of the day because everything is still super matte and intact under my eyes and not on my face so we got to make it all match and again this is a summer look it's not supposed to be super full coverage like you're gonna have under eye circles you're gonna have a little bit of like fine lines and things like that we're all human but well, we're gonna cover up the best that we can Get that all, Ooh, I almost knocked over the foundation all over my lap. Not that it really matters because I'm wearing sweatpants. All right, once I'm happy with the amount that it is blended out on my skin, I just wanna talk quickly about concealers because some people want a different concealer or maybe they're not using the found sealer, so. Don't worry, I got you. One is by Makeup Forever. This is their Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer. This is great because, as the name would suggest, it self sets. You don't need a powder to set the product. Now, if you want it to be a little bit more long wearing, I do recommend using a little bit of powder, but it does a really good job. The only downside for me is that I have to combine these two shades to get a color that matches for under my eyes. And then the other one is by MAC. This is their Water Weight Concealer. I think I learned about this one from Kristen Dominique, I want to say. But this is a really good, super lightweight, like it's like water in the way that it applies. You can see like, see how it's dripping like that? Like very, very lightweight. Drugstore too, you could always go classic with the Maybelline. This is the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. That's a great one. So now that we have the foundation on, let's go on to the other cream or liquid products that we have before we go in with powder, which won't be a lot, but a little bit. A little bit. So starting with blush, this is one of my favorite liquid blushes right now. It's by Flower Beauty. It's their Blush Bomb, and this is in Nectar. Oh, it is such a beautiful peachy shade that gives a gorgeous flush to the skin. And I personally like starting with a blush and then go into, if you're gonna do like a cream bronzer or something like that, do that afterwards because I find otherwise the whole skin tends to get muddy because I'll be like mixing in the blush on top of the bronzer. So we're gonna start with some blush and I'm just going to be looking at my skin head on and kind of think about where I want the flush to be. So kind of like right there. We're just gonna leave it at that, done, end of tutorial. So I'm just gonna tap it into the skin. You can use your fingers if you want. I like it just cause I'm weird. <laughs> and this to me is like the blush foundation, if you will. I'll start with this and then typically what I find is that I will need more once I've done everything else. So this is like a good starting point. And then for a cream bronzer, I'm gonna use this one. This is their matchstick, their matchstick. <laughs> They, this is the Fenty one. And I just put some on my hand, dipped my sponge in again, and then pressing it into the skin. I'm not looking to do like a contour, like I don't wanna go like all out. 
Um, I never do. But I want some nice warmth on my skin. And sometimes I will just skip this step entirely and I'll just go straight into a, like a powder bronzer instead. It kind of sets the makeup, also adds some bronziness, but we're gonna go a little bit more today. Give you some options, you know? Gotta stop for some coffee. Iced coffee. I actually an iced latte. Need to make it an iced latte because of my hair. And I've also let the um, the cream products kind of sit on my skin for a little bit. So I'm gonna go into the powder versions. We are gonna start with bronzer. The two that I reach for the most that I really, really love, one is the butter bronzer. Obviously it's butter bronzer. And then the other one is by Too Faced, their Sweet Cheeks one. Both are very similar actually. Wow, I never noticed that before. Okay. And I'm just going to very gently dust slash pat, like a dust pat, onto the skin. And we're just sort of setting that bronzer in. Also coincidentally, the foundation, so it works out well. This is Holiday by ColourPop, but like literally, I, I love the ColourPop. The ColourPop. The only thing that I find about layering a powder blush on top, especially the blush for some reason, is that my brush tends to get a lot dirtier a lot faster because obviously there's a lot of like oils and things aren't set on my skin. Now we're gonna do a quick little set. Not a lot, just a little bit. Some of my favorites for doing that little minimal amount of setting without it looking really heavy or really matte. Um, one is by, well, who is this? This is Jouer. This is their Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. This one is a little bit tricky to pick up on a brush or on like a sponge or a velour puff or something like that. I find that you don't get a lot of product, but you don't need a lot in this particular case. Um, another one is by Laura Geller. This is their Universal Filter Finish Setting Powder. This one has a little bit of a glow to it as well, which I personally really like, and it just makes your skin look airbrushed. If you're looking for matte though, steer clear of this because this does, it is glowy. And then the last one is by Elizabeth Arden. This is their uh, high performance blurring loose powder. It blurs out fine lines, pores, everything. It's awesome. My brother-in-law just sent me this meme. It's how your girl looks when you ask if they're ready and she hasn't blended out her makeup. Tell me, is that not accurate? So now to set, I'm gonna use that sponge again, noting that I did use bronzer on this side. Don't wanna put that under my eyes. And I'm going to dip it into a little bit of powder and just sort of press it on the areas that I want to set, not so that my skin looks healthy and glowy and not greasy. The tiniest amount, you see what I mean? Like, the, like there is not much there. And I did dab off some extra on my hand as well. And I'm just pressing it anywhere that I would get like super creasy. So like the sides of my mouth, underneath my eyes, maybe a little bit in the center of the forehead, that kind of thing. Now we get to go on to the part that I've been waiting for this whole video, the highlight palette. So super quickly, in case you missed the announcement video, this is the collaboration I did with Pixie. It is called the Layers Highlighting Palette. And the reason I called it that is because I wanted something that you could layer. So you could do something super subtle or something super blinding and over the top. And I also wanted the undertone to be customizable. So whether you want something more bronzy, gold, champagne, something more like icy, we even a little purple in there. You can kind of play and mix and match to create something that works for you, for your occasion, for whatever is going on. And it's just, yeah, it's just very personalized to you. And this is what it looks like when you open it up. It has a mirror, the two shades at the bottom. These are the base shades, the ones that are like a nice everyday kind of a look. So we have tea over here and clutch. You know, going with the whole like layers theme, clothing, tea, clutch, get it? And then these diamonds up here are the customizers. So you can make it a little bit more bronzy, a little bit more pinky. We can add a little pop of purple and you can just mix and match and layer to create a very customized highlight. I actually swatched the shades today because I wanted to show you guys what they look like when you start mixing and layering them. I actually, I swatched them on my leg which is half self tan, don't judge me. But what I did is I swatched T three times, clutch three times, and then on the outer swatches, I put knit, which is this bronzy shade, and lace, which is more of the pinky tone, on the outer swatches. So you can kind of see how the base shade changes when you add a different undertone on top. And even that is super customizable too, if you wanted it more bronzy, or you could add more of, you know, you could do T and then put knit on top and then decide you want it more gold, so you add more T. You can just mix and match and like have fun and play. So let's start with a subtle glow and then we'll build it from there, just so you guys can kind of get a taste of the palette a little bit. So the two shades, this one's a little bit more goldy. I'm gonna be using that on my, my shoulders. Stay Tuned. I'm gonna go in with clutch though. It's more of a neutral champagne tone and I'm gonna start with that as the, the base of my layer, if 
you will. And what I'm gonna do, and this is my trick for highlight that I feel like no one ever talks about this. And it's so, it was such a game changer for me and just, it feels really silly, but I'm telling you it works. So next time you go and you put on your moisturizer, facial oil, whatever it is, go and stand in direct like sunlight or just some light in general and just look at where the light hits your skin, where it reflects off of that oil, that moisturizer, whatever it is, that is where you want to highlight. Those are the high points where the light would naturally touch your face. And I feel like everyone's just like, yeah, you know, like the tops of the cheekbones. And that's great. That's a good starting point. But if you want something that's really gonna shine on your skin, that's where you wanna put it. So we're just gonna take a little bit here and I'm going to apply it right along here. You can do it on the outside of the brow. And just, I like to bring it down a little bit to the top so that when I smile, you can kind of see it, you know? All right, there we go. We got a little, a little light glow, a little soft, subtle prettiness, you know? And then I'm gonna do a little bit on the nose as well as on the cupid's bow. And then the next layer for my cheeks before we go into like my body highlight, I'm gonna go in with a little lace. And I wanna add lace just on the highest points of the highlight where I really want it to be like blinding. And again, I could do this with layering more clutch. I could put a little bit of tea, which is the more goldy shade towards the back as well, which I've done often and it's beautiful. Um, I also like to add tea and knit to my eyes cause that works well for my skin tone. Um, but we're gonna add a little bit of lace today. I need to find my brush. Where did I, oh, <laughs> in my lap. Now this formula can be used wet or dry. You can use it on your eyes, on your body, on your face, obviously, but you can use them wet as well. So it really brings out the metallic like, gleam, that shine, that pigment, and it's just like super over the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a smaller highlighting brush. I'm going to dip it into the shade Lace up here, and then I'm going to spritz it with some of the Rose Glow Mist by Pixie. Boop, boop. Just like that, maybe three. Just like a little extra, you know? And then I'm going to think about where the highlight, I really want it to pop on my skin. So for me, I think I want it like right here, right in the front, you see what I mean? Like, see how that like just really pops on the skin? Wowza. And then to round out all the highlight on my face, I am also going to take a small pencil brush. I'm going to dip it into a mixture of clutch and lace and then spritz a little bit of the rose glow mist and pop it into the inner corner of the eye and underneath the brows. And then I'm going to take a little bit of knit on a dense shader brush and I'm going to apply it wet to my lids. Oh, such a pretty summery color. Love it. Okay. Now that my face is nice and glowy, I want to finish up a little bit of lip stuff. Got a little peach puff as a base, pop on a little bit of like a coral shade gloss. Oh, that's a money combination, my friends. And now that the face is complete, nice and glowy, got the lipstick on, let's go on to the shoulders. We got to have a blingy shoulder. I love this step for like going to weddings and stuff, just having that like pop, that like gleam on the shoulder, like, oh. So I think because this is gonna be a, a shoulder highlight, I think I want this one to be over the top. So I'm actually going to put some on my brush like so. I'm gonna spritz it, boop, like that. And we're gonna dust it onto the shoulders just where the light would hit, like and Again, this is a super aggressive highlight, but you see how it's a little bit more of like a golden undertone to it, which is super pretty. This shade is a little too dark for me on its own on my face, but I find on my body, it looks really, really pretty. Put a little bit on the other side and a little bit on the collarbone. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of clutch right on top. It is pretty over the top, but you know what? We're layering today. We are layering. Ooh, ah. Shoulder bling. Now we're just gonna set everything in place. I'm gonna be using the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This is a really good one. Another one that I really like is using the Rose Glow Mist. If you want something that's a little glowier, something that's going to refresh your makeup, I really like this one as well. And then it'll be set on the face. Oh, I feel really, really glowy today. My best glow self, I must say. And now my Pixie Beauty palette is live. You can go and check it out, pixiebeauty.com and .co.uk as well. If you do go out and buy it, make sure you send me a picture on Instagram. I would love to see it. And I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. Let me know your thoughts. And I wanna see all of your looks using this palette as well. So thank you so much again. Check out the videos on the side in case you've missed any. And that's everything. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome week. Thank you again for all of the love. This is my 
half done heart here. <laughs> there we go. Proper heart. Thank you so much, guys. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you all. Mwah.